Well, I won't. Mike Blue here reporting for Film Police Portland. We responded to the Gateway Transit Center. This person was allegedly being disruptive on the MAX platform. And police were called and the police called Cheers, which is our social detox. Basically, what they do is they uh, determine if someone's intoxicated, take them off to a facility where they give them some TV, a pillow, a decent little bed, and some fruit juice and try to sober them up. I have mixed feelings about cheers, but you know, that's what it is. It's a friendly liberal jail, but you know, without the cruelty. <laughs> So cheers just showed up. Mm -hmm. So I'll just document them uh, taking this person into Cheers Social Detox and make sure that their civil rights aren't violated and whatnot. And if you are watching this on Steam, it hook a brother up with an upvote or maybe even a re-steam for police accountability. Because I am your friendly neighborhood cop watcher. I'm like Spider-Man swinging from buildings, hanging upside down from webs, getting that shot in it. Well, actually, I'm not doing any of that stuff, but I am documenting. Oh, come on, Bob, don't. If you want to cross, I'll point your camera down for a second. I said, if you want to cross, I'll point your camera down. Because yeah, if you don't. All right, brother. Well, since you're nice to me, I'll make sure that I'll, I can edit around you. If you don't want to have your face on, it's no big deal to me. A lot of times if people ask me to blur their faces out and that's kind of a pain, but I do it anyway. <laughs> it's just hard to edit. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. I can hear the cheers workers saying they're gonna take him someplace warm and safe tonight, so.
try again. Right now they're checking his insulin levels to check and see if he's diabetic or whatnot because they do have medics at the uh, cheer station and these guys uh, also have uh, medical training, the cheers workers. Not to be confused with the actual Portland Police Bureau sergeant that's standing closest to me, but the other two guys have medical training. <laughs> sergeant does too, like uh, basic first aid, stabilizing people and that kind of shit. Um, I'm sure Portland Police Bureau, like many other cities, do train their officers for uh, with a cursory medical training, you know. Just direct pressure and, you know, the Boy Scouts first aid stuff or whatever. <laughs> oh, man. And Portland Police Bureau also have a behavioral health unit that uh, they send out when uh, people are having a mental distress, although they're understaffed and there's not enough of them, in my humble opinion. So if you're watching this on Steam, it hooked me up with an upvote or a re-steam for police accountability. And as always, what is my catchphrase? Oh yeah, I bring an anarchist perspective to cop watching. Because yeah, I do that. I do that thing. And I think anarchists should uh, be doing more on the street activism. Or if you're not participating in showing a different system other than this current system of state monopoly on the legit, le the supposed legitimacy of the use of force, then you're basically just talking shit. You need to get out in the street or in integrate something into your daily life to live your anarchism. End of rant. Mike Bluehair signing off for Film the Police Portland.